Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. We have got another what's for dinner for you guys. This is where I share all the meals that we had this past week. Let's go ahead and get into it. We are starting out the week with breakfast for dinner. This one is super easy and everybody knows how to make breakfast. I normally keep it pretty basic with biscuits and gravy, some sort of a protein, and some eggs as well. So I'm just gonna let it play to music and y'all can watch me put it together. Here is everything when it's ready to go. We've got our gravy. We have our scrambled eggs. We have got some bacon and sausage, and then our biscuits. And that was a dinner for that night. On Monday night, I made a new to me recipe. It was baked pizza tortellini. This recipe came from a blogger and I will have her link down below so y'all can get the full recipe and measurements and everything. But this was so good and it was super easy to put together. You just cook up your hamburger meat, dump in your sauce, your cheese sauce, and then mix that up and then you're gonna add in your tortellini in there. And then I just put it in a casserole dish, topped it with some cheese, pepperonis, and baked it in the oven. I think in her recipe, it did call for onion cooked in with the ground beef and it also called for pepperonis added in. I just put the pepperonis on top and it still turned out really, really good. The two grown boys, well, Winston ate two plates of it, but the two grown boys, even the next day was like, hey, that was really good. Was it a new recipe? And I was like, yeah, it was. So the whole family really, really enjoyed it. And we just served it with some garlic bread on the side. Here's what it looks like after it came out of the oven. Like I said, this is a new family favorite. We really, really enjoyed this. On Tuesday night, I did a French onion bake. My phone had died, so I wasn't able to film me cooking, um, but I have made French onion bake many times on my channel, so I will have a video linked down below for you guys. It's definitely one of our favorites. To go along with it, I just cooked up some green beans with some potatoes, and I did some sweet carrots. Mm -hmm. 
on Wednesday. It was actually National Hot Dog Day, which I did not know until Kat had said something about it in our group message on Instagram. And I was like, oh, I have hot dogs in the freezer, so I can totally participate. And so I pulled out the last of our hot dogs. And then I also pulled out some cowboy beans that I had already made and in the freezer. And I just put those in the crock pot and let those heat through. And then I had to make a cookbook recipe, which y'all will see at the end of this month. Um, and it was really good. It was, it was a different version of kind of like potato casserole, but it used tater tots. So I'm excited to share that with you guys um, later in the week. On Thursday night, we actually had McDonald's for dinner. I was working super late. I was cleaning the house for someone and um, I still wasn't done. And so Luke ended up bringing us over some McDonald's so that way I could eat. I'm really bad if I'm busy throughout the day to not eat. Um, and so I didn't eat breakfast and then I forgot to pack lunch. And so that was my first like full meal that day. So I was so happy that he brought McDonald's. <laughs> On Friday night, we ended up having a date night. We went to a Mellow Mushroom. We got the pretzel bites with beer cheese. They are so good if you have never got them before. And then he got a um, shiitake mushroom pizza, but he added steak to it. And then I got one of their local pizzas, but it's pretty much just chicken bacon ranch. Um, and it was really, really good. So, this is kind of my version of chopped cheese. It was my night to do supper. Uh, it's kind of a New York thing. I've been seeing a lot on TikTok, and it looked delicious. This is just kind of my quick take on it for a quick supper. Um, that's I've got three pounds of ground beef. I'm smashing it out, make it cook thinner, and try to get a sear on it, but it wasn't working out right, to be honest. Uh, just kind of moving it around a little bit. Still got the beef on, and uh, that's two French loaves, and I am I had Tamara cut them in half and then cut them down the middle, kind of like a Subway sub. And I'm just heating them up, kind of toasting them on the griddle. And there I added a whole onion and, I don't know, probably 10, 10 of those small sweet peppers. I just cored them, sliced them kind of thin. And uh, I think it was about a half stick of butter. I'm just going to kind of chop up, hence chopped cheese. I'm going to chop it up and combine it all before I start adding in my seasoning. Here I'm going to hit it with uh, some of Malcolm Reed's How to Barbecue Right AP Rub. So it's like an all-purpose salt, pepper, garlic. And this is uh, Stale Cracker off of TikTok. His seasoning, I finally found some at Walmart. And it's called a Cajun Two-Step. And let me tell you, it is worth the money. Big fan. Uh, a lot of good flavors going on, especially for this. Uh, most chopped cheeses are done with adobo, Goya adobo seasoning. And uh, like I said, this is my take on it. It is by no means the real deal, so nobody get tore up and offended. This is, I guess, your southern backyard country version of New York. So I've got it in piles, adding the cheese I kind of sectioned it out per sub roll, adding that is provolone. I had Havarti and uh, some pepper jack, but it wasn't the regular pepper jack. It was habanero. Just to add a little bit of a zing to it, and it was fantastical. And let the cheese melt. Whenever I got it how melted I wanted, I added it into the sub rolls here. And uh, like I said, it was kind of already pre-sectioned out where I did it per sub roll. You just put all that goodness in the bun, and there you go. You got my version of a chopped cheese. Way too much food, 
definitely have leftovers and uh, I'm looking forward to eating it again. I thought I would add in a bonus dessert recipe for this week. Now, if you watched Thursday's vlog, I will have it linked down below in case you missed it. I had a recipe fail. I tried to make lemon brownies and the recipe just did not turn out. I think there was a misprint in the recipe, honestly. Um, but I knew these lemon gooey bars are also known as lemon chest bars are so good. Um, so I thought I would redeem myself and make these. It's super easy. All you need is a lemon cake mix, some butter and some eggs. And you're just going to mix that together that's going to be your crust and then you're just going to press that down in the bottom of a 9 by 13 greased baking dish i will have the recipe that i followed a link down below for you guys i got it from a blogger and it was delicious Now we're gonna mix together the, air quotes, gooey portion of your chest bars. Um, it, all it is is cream cheese, powdered sugar, vanilla, butter, eggs. I think I said it all. Like I said, I'll have the recipe link down below for you guys. Um, but you're just gonna mix that together and then you're gonna add that on top of your crust and then you're just gonna bake that in the oven until it is done. It's still gonna be a little jiggly. Mine did get a little bit browner on the edge, edges than normal. Um, I had I got sidetracked. Um, my I couldn't multitask this day, let, let me be honest. Um, I got a little sidetracked, um, but it, they still tasted really, really good. I personally love chest bars they are so delicious but if you have never tried changing out the cake mix for the crust I highly recommend it really kind of changes it up and these lemon ones were perfect for summertime that's it guys that wraps up today's video I really hope you enjoyed these super easy and delicious weeknight dinners just remember it doesn't have to be fancy just as long as your family is fed that is all that matters is full tummies at the end of every day hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one bye guys